So I know mom's proud of him. Here, son, you're 42 years of age. Hey, you can't make it on your own. Come on and move in with me. And now manage to embarrass me by downloading child porn while you're living at home with me. Howdy, y'all. Unky T here. Uh, if this is your first time here, uh, please subscribe and ring the bell because I, I post quite often. And uh, if it's, you know, you're back here and you're already subscribed or whatever, thank you very much for your subscribing already and, uh, and your comments. I really appreciate hearing from y'all. Anywho, here's uh, part three. Timothy Cottenham, he preferred to watch child porn of children as young as two. We charged him with a hundred counts of child porn. He's 32 years of age and he lives with his parents. I know his parents are proud of him. And then there's Brooklyn Co Childs. Brooklyn Childs is 18. He downloaded child porn of infants, babies. He's currently charged with three counts of possession and one count of promotion. And here's David Yates. He's 42 and he still lives with mom. He prefers child porn where the children are as young as four. So far we've got him charged with four counts and one count of promotion. So I know mom's proud of him. Here, son, you're 42 years of age. Hey, you can't make it on your own. Come on and move in with me. And now manage to embarrass me by downloading child porn while you're living at home with me. Now let me go over a few that we caught in the earlier parts of the operation. And because of their status, you may have already heard about them. This operation started in February and we just wrapped it up in the, in the last week or so. Dr. Brian Berkey, if you remember, he is 61 years of age. He has a PhD. He taught nuclear engineering. He's also been a tech consultant. He, wore, he was uh, the ex-director of public and environmental health. And we originally arrested him for nine counts of possession of child porn. He bonded out of jail. When we completed our investigation of his computer, we went back and rearrested him for 300 counts more of child porn. He stayed in jail with us for a while, but he's now bonded out on a $609,000 bond. Well, uh, I hope Dr. Brian Berkey enjoys his freedom. It'll be short-lived because I understand that Brad's prosecuting him. Brad, did I tell you, is a great prosecutor. And we're sending you, Dr. Berkey, to the Florida State Prison System for a very long time. Katie Butler is 30. She's married to Jesse Butler. And she had 40 counts of child porn charges filed against her because she had 40 count uh, or 40 different images on her cell phone. We also arrested Jesse Butler, her husband, for one count of child porn and one count of transmission. This is a family duo. It is a rare event for us to find ladies in possession of child porn and she had 40 counts. A family affair a family criminal affair, a family deviant criminal affair. Well, here's a news flash. Katie and Jesse don't get to stay in the same cell at the jail, nor will they get to stay in the same cell in the prison system. And then the last one we released at the time, released to you at the time, he's out on bond now. He's facing 22 counts of child porn is Richard Parr. He was a firefighter for Polk Fire Rescue. He quit, resigned upon his arrest. He's on bond. We're still evaluating his computer systems. There's a very good chance that he will receive more counts of child pornography. So this is our recent roundup. As I've said before, parents, 
You've got to pay close attention to your children and their devices. We have not located any of these victim children. And every time that image is retransmitted to someone else, those children are re-victimized again. We do send these images to NCMEC, which puts them in a large database, and they also work with us in an effort to identify who the victims are so we can rescue the children. We really, really, really would like to identify these children. Of course, for obvious reasons, we can't show you the child's pictures and say, do you know who this child is and where they may live so we can go rescue the child. The horribleness of this child pornography is beyond your wildest deviant imagination. It breaks your heart. We want to know where the victims are, but you know what? There would be no victims if it weren't for these guys who wanted to watch and deal and trade in this. And they become more difficult to catch all the time. That's right. They're more difficult to catch. They're not changing their ways. They're changing their techniques. And we change our techniques as well, and that's how we find them. Now, I can tell you with child predators, when they're after children, they have to surface into the child's world on the internet to be successful, and it makes them easier to catch. These folks can go deep, make a deep dive into the internet, and they are a real challenge to find. So make no mistake about it. These people are dangerous. If they've not assaulted children, Statistically speaking, the majority of them would, given the opportunity. And guess what? In addition to that, you can call Crime Stoppers, 1-800-226-TIPS. If you know of somebody dealing in this, and you can help us continue to mop up those that are deviant and would trade child porn and victimize children. Here's my message once again, and it should be very clear. If you're watching this broadcast and you're dealing in child porn, if we haven't got you, we will. If you've done your prison sentence and you're out and you're on probation, you better stay away from the child porn or we'll have you back in jail and we'll smile the whole time. Well, there you go, my friends. Those of y'all want to be interested in seeing more Grady Judd videos, there's one posted up right above here and I uh, will uh, put a link there for you to click on if you want to subscribe just hit that little logo and you'll be subscribing thanks for coming by y'all have a blessed day you take care of yourself take care of each other and we'll talk to you real soon bye for now